What's up? What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It developed some movement. It's not straight. It's got a twist. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> so, so much for a half inch or five eighths. I made another mistake. I hate to even tell you about it. But so I ran this through the machine. I had one side that was pretty flat uh, from the glue up. It had a, it had a cup in it, but I uh, jointed it and I started with the other side, which was the, the side with the raised parts. And then, uh, so anyway, it came out, sometimes it comes out kind of weird, like triangulated um, So from the machine. So I should have put it uh, with the flat side down and then planed it and I would have probably got a thicker side. 
So because of the way I did it, I had I end up with this thin piece, which is okay because that's kind of part of the idea. And then I started making this handle, and I, I, I didn't film all of it. I kind of stopped, uh, but I uh, roughly cut this with a coping saw. I mean, it was pretty pretty gnarly cut, and then I. I cut this a couple different times trying to get an angle and then I ended up um, setting it like this so it, it goes um, into the kind of like the same thickness as the material. So this will get glued on there. So that's where I'm at uh, with this. I'm just going to glue this and hopefully should hold and then so all I got to do now is cut these, uh, cut these gentle curves, use a spoke shave, and then I'm going to uh, plane this. I'll, we just got a big rainstorm, a big, big thunderstorm, so a lot of humidity today. And this thing, I'm not sure if I should try to straighten it today because sometimes when it dries out, it'll go back. So I don't know, but I might. Uh, do a quick smoothing plane on this. So it ended up a little thin, but it'll be fine. And this handle is nice because it's kind of offsetting, you know, it, like kind of a bigger handle. It'll help uh, hold up this long board. So that's where I'm at with it. Put some sandpaper on the edge of my table saw and uh, ran it like this. flatten it then I was going to put some sandpaper on the side of the workbench also and uh, here to stick that on there it gives me 90 90 degrees too this worked pretty good though I've been doing this lately glue sticking stuff down To the workbench. So anyway, it's kind of a big handle, but it's good because it offsets that that uh, long board. The effort to finish this up. I got some other things. I'm trying to work on as usual. Uh, I just started doing this and then, you know, I wanna get it, get it going. So, um, <clears throat> since I already used the planers, it's not like this has to be all hand tools. No one said that I had to be all hand tool woodworker, right? So I have a bandsaw, but also, I could just cut this roughly. Um, nah, I'll use the bandsaw.
think I got it really close, <clears throat> uh, almost flat. It's still slightly changing just a little bit. Uh, it was actually quite warped and twisted. Um, but so I'm doing some real fine, uh, real fine cleaning here. Almost taking almost nothing. It seems to be, I don't want to overdo it right now because I think it might change a little bit. It's really humid right now. So I could just leave it. It's pretty close. It keeps changing a little when I got here. This work holding, I have to I'm work on this a bit because it's a little bit, it's not really good. I think it's pretty good. Hopefully it won't move too much. I could uh, probably glue this handle on and then just after that everything will be uh, just kind of fine tuning. So it looks pretty pretty cool. It's gonna be nice. Um, these, uh, yeah, I lost my mark. I had a center mark. Uh, but I think all I gotta do is measure over. It's like three and a half, a little bit. Three and a half, I think, is what it was. Waterproof, you know, type bond three here. This has been flattened. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get too crazy on this, but I'm gonna let it soak in a little bit. Put this on here. So then I can get this one done and move. I'm gonna make some more stuff. I usually like to do both surfaces, but <clears throat> recently someone said you don't really need to if you got enough glue on there, you know, otherwise it's just going to squeeze out everywhere. I'll put some on like that. I will prime it maybe just a bit. The only thing holding it is the glue. So
Okay, well, that's gonna have to be good enough. I've uh, already spent a whole bunch of time messing with this thing. Uh, the panel definitely uh, kind of twisted and moved a little bit. So, I, uh, So, I ended up uh, hand planing it. Uh, like I said, this kind of had some weird twists, so I planed it down basically so I got it to sit flat on, uh, on the table. And it seems to move around. I, I water popped it like three different times. I tried, uh, first I was sanding, wasn't too happy with that finish. And then I tried scraping it with a card scraper and that was good, but then I water popped it again and it was still, it was still kind of rough. So I did it again and hit it with like 240 um, car sand or kind of like wet dry sand, which was kind of sharp. So, you know, it's, it's not 100% perfect. I, I planed a bunch of this and I got a little bit, little bits of tear out here and there, but I tried to get most of that out. So it's really close, the handle uh, it seems a bit oversized. I was gonna drill a hole in here, but this one's for my parents and they're not gonna, I know they're not gonna hang it on the wall, so. But the bigger handle kinda gives it, you know, even though this is thin, and it's a good thing it, it is thin because it's kinda long and a little bit heavy. So we just have tight bond three uh, holding this on and the cut wasn't perfect, but you know, it's nice and smooth. You got a nice, uh, that quilted grain shows up. So, but anyway, I've, uh, like I said, I end up spending too much time on it. Um, just uh, off and on, just come in and keep messing with it. So I'm just gonna call it good for now and go ahead and oil it. And, uh, oops, and then and can do something else. And that will make it nice and a little bit dark, bring out that color. Get the end grain. So, but this, this project was good. It got me some ideas. Some It gave me some ideas for some different kinds of, some other cutting boards, maybe. And, uh, So I'll give this a really good, just a nice heavy coat and then let it sit there for a while. And so a couple of things I realized on this is that you could uh, uh, kind of want to get all the shaping, all the shaping and finishing done before you try to water pop it. And you know, because that's really your final finish. And some people say, you know, you can sand back through that raised grain and then it'll just re-raise the grain. So, and then also I used some sandpaper to uh, shape this after spoke shaves and I uh, was using a card scraper. So, sanded it with uh, like 60 or 80 grit to shape it a little more and then, you know, so then sanded it or scraped it more. I was using the card scraper, which is nice uh, for a fine finish. So, but anyway, looks pretty cool. You know, it's different uh, that this is um, that cherry I got, and I don't know if this piece is that hard, but usually, sometimes it's um, this Illinois black cherry. It's actually a lot of pieces I have are really dense, and it almost seems as hard as the maple. But this thing, they're not even going to want to use it. Maybe they will. Anyway, I'll let that soak in a little bit. And then wipe it off and then we'll be done. All right, guys. Well, that is a completed cutting board. A little dent, a little... Little imperfections for sure, always the case. It's not perfect, but 
this was um, this was uh, first it started off as practice on edge jointing wood uh, with a hand plane which was great practice and I learned a lot and you see actually I got pretty nice tight joints this was cut way down from the middle uh, after I milled it down but not too bad um, a little bit of a gappage I tried to fill it with some sawdust it doesn't really look great <clears throat> but anyway that's the finished product uh, the handle the handle turned out nice uh, it's a little bit large but it's also kind of a little practice in design you know it's kind of like large handle and offsets this the length of this um, and yeah so I learned a few things uh, when I milled this material uh, I went from the wrong side and that kind of sent me down a little path of problems and uh, hopefully try to remember these lessons but uh, also well it's it's super humid out it rained uh, hard for like two days now after three weeks of drought so who knows if this will change more it definitely moved a few times plus when you mill it um, this thin out of that material I mean there's some tensions in there so the milling uh, I straightened it out with a hand plane as best I could and then the handle yeah so it was a process it always um, seems to one little project just turns into um, not not full days but days of screwing around coming in and messing with it and then I end up uh, you know I've got way too much time involved in this but this is all lessons and uh, what to do next next time and hopefully I'll remember that and uh, I got some ideas to make some more and you know sometimes it's a good idea to make the same thing over and over again you know maybe not for YouTube but uh, for practicing and doing things you know repetition um, it's just like some artists you know it's like to paint the same painting over and over again or make the same thing over and over again and um, yeah so anyway this is done good enough it's pretty flat uh, so it has a little slight, slight bit of movement. I kept on cleaning some out of the middle, but anyway, that's a long explanation of this. Was just a really uh, screwing around project here. I wasn't even planning on putting this in the, in the program, but nevertheless. We have a completed cutting board. It's a little bit stripey looking. Yeah, anyway, it's fine. So I'm gonna move on to uh, uh, trimming the fruit trees right now. And I'm gonna make a video about that too. So if you wanna check that out. Also, this is an ongoing saga. Um, I might not always put all one project in a video so it's going to be kind of an ongoing thing i've been trying to figure out what it, what i'm doing with this youtube thing too so anyway thanks for watching and i hope this is not too long but uh here we have a long fish cutting board or fish or maybe for serving serving board i do like the handle I like, I like how the handle turned out. So. And uh, lessons. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> subscribe, smash like, stuff like that. See you later.